Hi, this is Don Chamberlain, Great Wave Engineering. Uh, a while back, uh, my friend Richard the Pond Guru developed a uh, filter rebuild kit uh, in the UK, uh, utilizing uh, coarse and medium uh, reticulated uh, convoluted foam, uh, along with a fine polyester mat uh, filter uh, polishing mat. Uh, I, uh, there's been a lot of interest in that uh, here in the States, and so I've uh, located a supplier. And now uh, I'm going to be building, rebuilding an Eheim uh, filter uh, using similar material uh, to see how well it works. And if it works out, uh, we'll make that available uh, for sale here. Uh, so uh, hopefully it'll work out. Uh, we'll. Uh, Follow this uh, experiment with great interest, and I hope you will too. Thank you. So the first step in the process will be to cut the uh, filter pads we need to fit in the Eheim filter. Um, so Great Wave is going to provide three uh, foam filter mats. The coarse, which we're looking at right now, is 10 pores per inch, and then We've got a medium, which is 20 pores per inch. And then finally, the fine quarter inch thick mat, which is 50 pores per inch. So this is a little different than uh, what the Pond Guru is offering. He's using a polyester uh, filter polishing mat. I'm, uh, I'm going to try this out and see how it works and so this is an existing filter pad from the Eheim filter we're going to use this as our uh, pattern try to cut out some uh, some filter pads using our foam the great wave mats are 12 by 12 inches uh, and about an inch and a half thick the convoluted foam um, and so uh, we're going to see now if we can cut out a reasonable facsimile of that uh, Eheim foam. So it cuts fairly easily with a, uh, a box cutter and a nice sharp, uh, nice sharp knife. It's not quite as smooth as the machine cut that uh, was on the uh, Eheim foam, but I think it'll be uh, adequate. Uh, cut it just a hair oversized. Want to make sure we get a good tight fit in there. So now I'm going to do this again for the other three or the other two pads. So there we've got our three pads cut. Now we're ready to go off to Ginky Koi and rebuild their filter. So we'll see how that works out tomorrow.